Hello guys, it's Ben here from Next Gen Base, and it's time, uh, I guess, we can finally show you some footage of eFootball 2022, and that's because it's been released, so um, firing up the game literally for the first time uh, right now, you can see everything that I can see, well, I'm seeing it for the first time um, in a kind of release capacity, obviously um, we have previously done our uh, um, done our preview which I know got a little bit of little bit of attention um, yeah uh, it's you know I didn't make this public but we got a lot of um, uh, we got a lot of disgruntled people shall we say um, DMing and it was just if you're one of those people, just just take a look at yourselves, because like ultimately, I I tried to be balanced in the preview. Um, I'm going to skip this. Tried to be balanced in that preview, and it was all just kind of, you know, there were some good things about the, the build that we played, and there were some bad things, and I called it out. And ultimately, people didn't like that for whatever reason. If you didn't like it, fine, I guess. Just don't send hate to people because it's pointless. But. Anyway, here we go. Argentina, Portugal. This is the same as we played initially. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket. Um, yeah, things look all right. Surely must be. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of support. And there's the crowd, which doesn't look amazing. As you can see, there was about. 50, 20, or 15 or 20 repeated instances of one person in that uh, in that video or in that crowd shot so um, yeah I mean I'm you know I am playing this on lunchtime on release day um, I have seen some horrendous things about the game so far um, I've seen some horrendous you know gifs and videos and I've seen a screenshot of when the teams are lining up in this uh, in this game, that you know there was no there was, there was just no people, you know there were no players. But um, yeah, let's just skip through this. Um, well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this. A capacity crowd here. Uh, yeah, oh, that's right. I am going to go into settings and turn that to from the stands. Because I can't stand the commentary in this game. Okay. Oh, bugger it. First thing I've done. Oh, what? So that's something that I actually quite like, is that like dynamic restarts thing. Um, I know that that was mentioned in a few of the previews. I, I didn't mention it, um, but I, I do quite like it. You know, I, I like that feel of just getting the ball from a uh, you know from the ball boy. Oh, I've done it again. You know, getting the ball from the ball boy and just throwing it out into the edge of the six-yard box. Um, it's quite just quite good. You know, that that is something that's a positive for sure. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Let's uh let's see what else is going on here. And Messi's on the ball. So I I I still I'm I'm not a huge fan of the player indicators. I know that they can be amended in the uh in the control settings, but I'm not going to jump through those hoops at the moment to to have a look and get that done. Um, because I just want to get this, you know, this out. So yeah, there we go. Straight away, gives the ball away. And again, I am playing a dangerous game. And there we go. I <laughs> I should really focus on this rather than uh, trying to trying to talk. Um. But you know, it's uh, the the game. 
the thing is, the, the, the game that we played, so the, the build that we played, was a different build. Um, but that doesn't excuse some of the issues. You know, that, that won't write off some of the issues. And that won't make some of the problems feel... Uh, or get rid of some of the problems, you know, that they will still be there. Um, and, yeah, it's, you know, people people will or have been using, um, oh, it's a different build uh, as an excuse for, what the hell? Um, as an excuse for, for PES for years, you know, I mean, that there have been, uh, there have genuinely been oh, moments where there's been a different build of a game that has felt different, it has felt better. I mean, we've seen it not only with PES, but we saw it with FIFA. Um, I think we went to Gamescom 2014, I think, to see PES, uh, to see FIFA 15. Um, and the, the build that we played in the hall at Gamescom, or in the press area at Gamescom, felt massively different uh, to the final release, and it's it makes things like previews for football games hard. Um, you know, unless there are glaring issues, which I personally felt that there were when it came to uh, to eFootball, which is why I mentioned them. Um, a lot of the time you've got to take like the gameplay stuff, particularly with a pinch of salt, because you've got, um, you know, you've you just got to look at it and say, well, okay, that, that's going to change before launching. Because it always does. Um, but anyway, let's uh, see if we can snatch a goal back now. Um, oh, I've screwed it. Oh, there we go. They've screwed it up for me as well. Okay, and there we go. As you can see there, you know, the trophies coming in, goal on the counter, and I mean, right, that if you if you go back and just pause that there, right, one of the comments that I got a lot of stick for was about the crowd. Um, you know, people said it's the best looking crowd that they've seen in a football game. And people disagreed with, with my comments and kind of came back to me and said, oh, but they said this, and you know, I don't want to see messages about how people are going to track me down and and maim me because I've said that a crowd looks bad in a football game. Um, but that's what happened, you know. And ultimately, if you go back and watch that replay, oh, all right. Um, there we go. Um, you go back and watch that replay, and again, maybe in this one, you'll be able to see that, like. The crowd have got a distinctly original Metal Gear Solid feel to them uh, in some of it, you know? That's, uh, I don't think it's going to... No, it's not going to show the crowd, I don't think. It's just going to go back to the players on this one. Yeah. Okay, let's just skip past this. Um, but you can see there, you know, I mean, obviously this is the default difficulty. We're not going to... I'm not bumping it up at the moment because you have to restart the game and all the rest of it but um, yeah you know I mean it, it kind of is what it is um, fortunately uh, in this uh, in this game so far I've not really seen too many of the problems that uh, that I called out in that preview um, and again yes it is an earlier build um, and we did play a more recent build but I mean, when you know, I said in there that there were problems even in that later build. Um, and I mean, it's even just things like the, the the physics of the players. Just some of it just feels off, you know. The ball does feel good, and I was I'll stand by that. You know, the ball felt free. It felt um, like a unique entity in that, and indeed in this one as well. You know, there's no. There's no snapping to, to players or anything like that. You know, if you misplace a pass, as I go and misplace a pass, I totally did that for the video, um, things just feel a bit, you know, they look a little bit different. Um, there we go. 
Come on, right, right, let's see what I can do here. I mean, that's a foul. Yes, thank you. I have seen a couple of instances of those where the, you know, the players just kind of barge into each other. And again, it didn't look like a natural collision. We'll see it here. Yeah, I... I don't know. Some of the some of the collision stuff just doesn't feel great. Um, there we go. Oh. Why did he just let the... Uh, I mean... Yeah. It's little things. It is just little things, but... You know, I mean, I, I will... I'll be honest, I, I tend to play PES for a bit when it comes out, and then the way that we consume games here, I end up playing them for a little bit and then play, uh, play a lot more... And, and kind of come back to it when the football season starts or when we you know when the when the season ends so i'm i'm not a i'm, I'm no longer a hardcore pez player i mean we, i used to be i used to play pez you know six and and you know slightly beyond um for a long long time and then that was because i i had a couple of games a year uh, whereas now you know things are obviously different. Um, the the way that we obtain games, the way that we play games, is is very different. We we play a lot, but um, ah, oh, I should have scored there. Like uh, yeah, I mean, look at the crowd on the on the left hand side. It's the frame rate is slow on it, and it's just it's pixely and it doesn't look good. I'm gonna stand by that, and if anybody wishes to tell me that I'm wrong, then so be it. But I mean, that is the easiest goal I will ever score. <sighs> and like, you shouldn't be able to score goals like that. It's um... yeah. Again, I know this is a. A lower difficulty, but I mean the fact that it took me two attempts to get to the ball in the first place, it shouldn't have happened. Uh, oh, I don't know. Guys, what what do we do? Like I I mean yeah. I'm seeing a lot of stuff, as I said this morning, about this this release. Um, I'm seeing it's, I think, basically become the lowest rated game ever on Steam. I think there's something like eight percent positive reaction, uh, which is, I mean, that's ludicrous. Um, but you can sort of see why. And even then, like my defender didn't feel like he wanted to move. Um, what? How has that gone through three of my defenders, and nobody's picked it up, even though they were quite close to each other? I, I promised myself I wouldn't get angry with this because ultimately I don't know how much I'm going to play it after today, but um, right. Oh come on! There we go. Another save. Uh, let's go with mixed. But okay, all right. You see, it's things like that. There's this sort of weird slow. Again, I should have been able to pass that. I wasn't sprinting at the point. I. You know, I let the recovery go, but it's it's things like that. You know, the the kind of it when animations. What? 
Oh, wow. Oh, that's bad. And this is, you know, again, this is something that I picked up on in that... Um, in the preview that some of the collisions just felt weird and then when you when you see a replay like that you can totally see that yes that that does not look good um, okay ah oh, it was a poor ball I wanted it to go across the box um But yeah, I mean, when you are, when you, you know, when you, uh, when you're making a game about football, you know, it's a, it's a contact sport. You need to have the physics right. You need to have those collisions right. Um, and they're just kind of not. Oh, I've let them, I've let them go through me. I've let them absolutely go through me. Oh, that's a good goal. Very poor defending. And again, it's kind of like I said in that initial, <laughs> in the initial video. Uh, defending feels like a job this year, and if you're not used to it, then um, you need to get used to it quickly. And yeah, that was a prime example. It was just me being poor. And the thing is, like you know, I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not the best Pez player in the world. I never will be. But I, I'm also talking and trying to formulate my thoughts uh, at the same time. And again, that's a foul. But no. Oh, okay, now it's a foul, right. Um, but even in the run-up to that, even in the run-up to that header, like, I was concentrating on my defenders running because, yes, the game is running at a, a smooth frame rate, but the, the actual running animation didn't look like it was. Um, it just looked naff. Like, I, I don't know... There we go. I, I just don't know what's going on with this game. It's... It's so strange, it's so, like, just weird, and I don't know, you know, I genuinely don't know if The Build will ever come out, the one that we played. Like, why is why is Messi almost, like, hovering there? You know, he's, he's trying to run through. The, there needs to be a bit of physicality, but at the same time, you can't just have them hover and, and slide all over the place um, and not really move. But, you know, the, the build that we played... Um, is is not a magic bullet. It is not a. Oh, that's a great goal. Bugger. Um, it's not a silver bullet. You know, it's not gonna fix everything that everybody's got problems with because there were still problems with it when I played it. And like again, having played it, um, it's. Mm. Yeah, I I don't know. Like obviously there was a lot of differing reactions and a lot of differing opinions on that um, on the preview build. Um, we were one of the more dissenting channels. I mean, even though like, bloody hell, uh, <laughs> she just kind of booted the linesman. Um, even though we were, you know, essentially trying to be as fair and balanced as we could be, I think it was probably fair to to assume that we weren't overly impressed and I mean the fact that this is launch day the fact that this is nearly half past 12 and um, you know th this is the first time that I've actually been able to, to capture or get video footage of the game being played um, I mean I'll stand by my my frustration and my annoyance with uh, with what happened around that. Um, I, I I can handle going to preview events and not getting not getting captures. You know, being told we're not allowed to capture. I can absolutely handle that and accept that. Uh, what I can't really accept is is being told that you know as a a, a creator or a, a site that does um, YouTube videos that we will need to um, do video content without any video, which is at one point what we were being told. Um, I I just thought, you know, that's, that's ridiculous. Um, let me just put my username in for everything. 
that I always use. Um, and, you know, I, I wasn't impressed. And I think that was that was fair with my little addendum that I, I put out um, on the video. Uh, it, it was it was just a, a really you know naff moment. Uh, we hope you enjoy that. everything the eFootball world has to offer. Okay, uh, regular maintenance times. Yeah, that's fine. Known issues. Okay, here we go. Known issues on launch day. Some commands stop working if the physical defending command is attributed to a different button from the initial setting. Okay. Some players are shown as a floating suit or disappear entirely in the pre-match cutscene. Okay. Uh, right. So. Right. Uh, okay, so you can't. You can only play the authentic match. Let's have a look at settings. Okay, so there are some settings in there. Uh, controller settings. Okay, so you can set different configs in there. Right, okay, that's fine. Audio, yeah, that's understandable there. Right, camera. Dual. Do, 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 do. Auto login, that's fine. Um. I'm sure I saw somewhere that you can. I mean, that's when I when I come back out of that menu, my my D-pad is locked out for a good five or ten seconds. Hmm, okay. Let's jump into here. Uh, events. Join the event and gain amazing rewards. Let's see what the event is. Worldwide clubs. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go into the English League. Wait, what? But they... But they said that there was only nine clubs. Right, so there's nine clubs if you go into the match. But if you go into the event, there are more clubs. What is this game? Let's play River Plate. Settings, gameplay. Oh, wait. <sighs> the two options are regular or superstar. I don't know if that changes, but uh, okay. Match screen, yeah, that's fine. Regulations, match time. You can't change the match time. I've only got one ball. Avoid making jokes about songs in my uh, in the comments, please, folks. Uh, stadium, right now, this was actually something that that did look quite cool. It changes in real time. I like that a lot. Um, the fact that there's no <laughs> there's no other weather is a bit disappointing. But I mean, I say it changes. I go from long grass to short grass. And literally nothing changes on the pitch. Come on. Come on, get it sorted. And again, pitch conditions. Nothing. Uh, season, so again, summer, winter, just basically changes whether it's 
early evening or late at night. That's done, and let's go next. So this is the this is the scene I was on about in my preview as well, where if you have a look when we get into the dressing room, just look at the player. I believe in my preview it was Harry Maguire. Just oh and okay, so they have updated the rosters at least. That's that's good. You know we're not waiting for two months for a day one season update. Um. Okay. So I'm is doing his gloves up. There was a bit where there was a player just there doing his boots up, and yeah, you can't really see it, but oh man! I mean, I will be brutally honest at this point. I don't think it's getting. I don't think it deserves quite as much hate as it's getting. Um, however, it is not a good game. And it's a difficult one because, as I've said before, I know people personally that are... Uh, yes, I know people personally that work on the franchise. I know people that personally work in the PR. I know people that have worked on the franchise, but... I mean, this, you know, there we go, straight away, in the blink of an eye. I mean, it does look like he's had about seven lines of coke, but, yeah, yeah, it, it's not good. I mean, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to say anything else. Oh god. The stadium announcements are even worse than the commentary. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, it's it's not the second coming of Lucifer. It's uh, you know, it's a video game at the end of the day. It's an it's not a very good video game. Um but you know, I think what I said in the aftermath of that preview is something that I will stand by that you know, it it feels fine, I guess. Um, it's not remarkable. It's it's a step back from Pez twenty twenty one, and you know, which in turn is is basically twenty twenty. So it it doesn't feel like a, an advancement of the franchise. It obviously feels like, um, uh, how do I put it? They, they promised that it wouldn't compromise on things to, to get the mobile implementation in. Uh, that was my biggest fear. Obviously, I did a video a few weeks back about um, how I thought things were going. Oh, come off it! Um, yeah, I mean it's it, it's a disappointment. It really is. Um, I will probably play some more at some point, but honestly, right now, um, it oh come on, honestly, right now, it, it feels uh, it feels like this might be the last piece of of content that we put out for for Pez or eFootball. Um, unless we do some sort of, you know, retrospective, or 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 this improves, um, I know it's I know it's very hard to to predict what's going to happen with this, but th there's a big roadmap, and as we've seen, you know, there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. I mean, even even the cutscenes takes me back to Pez 2008 because the frame rate in them's garbage. Um, and that was a problem that we had with 2008 so I just I almost want to say that they don't learn um, but I know that that's a very a very harsh and a very difficult thing to say 
Um, but oh, why did just take the bloody pass? Um, yeah, it's it is a shame to see a franchise that kind of birthed the website and this YouTube channel uh, kind of be where it is. Um, But I don't know what else to say at this point. It's uh <sighs> two added minutes has been indicated. Pez is is not Oh come on! Just exactly Exactly what I mean. That's just bad uh, that, that that should not happen. I mean, what? It's okay. That that's just poor. It's just poor. And like I said, I'm not the most high-level Pez player or eFootball player, as it will be now. Um, that first game felt longer. Was it longer? It must have been longer. So the option to have longer games is there, but they've just chosen not to have them in this in this release. Come on. I mean... I... Oh, this really doesn't feel good at all. Oh, no, okay, another weird collision or a slide. And another weird instance where De Gea should have caught it but has punched it out for a corner? I'm just at a loss for words. Sorry, folks. I just, I, yeah. Even then, the run-up stops. And things feel way too slow and deliberate. I mean, when I say slow and deliberate, I, I mean exclusively in, in the animations. Like, the, the pace of the game itself actually doesn't feel too bad. Um, but, you know, oh. look, ultimately, I think it's, it's okay to be disappointed, um, by a game. It's okay to be uh, borderline angry about it, I guess. I mean, I know people will will turn around and say, but it's free, you shouldn't get upset by it, but I mean, look, ultimately we all have we all have memories of pairs, we all have you know, feelings towards pairs that uh, we would love to see the, the franchise or, you know, a football game in that mould come back um, and it is okay, it's absolutely okay oh, come on sake. it's absolutely okay to be upset or disappointed but it's not okay to go and throw that disappointment into toxicity and, and you know, give it to people that are just trying to do their jobs. Um, because I, I guarantee you, without any shadow of a doubt, you know, that the issues that people are going to be aware of and focusing on, I guarantee that the people that are publicly accessible there you go, easy goal, easy goal um, the people that are easily accessible on social media where's it going? okay that was weird uh, the people that are easily accessible on social media will not be the ones um, that that will be able to fix what is fundamentally wrong with this um, there will be discussions that are being had at a higher level than those people um, there will be discussions that may be taking place in a different you know office or even a different country or a different continent 
Um, so please, please, while I understand that people are frustrated, <sighs> yeah, I I get it, but please don't don't give stick to to people that uh, that are just trying to do their job. So anyway, that's a a quick look at. Uh, E-football. And I don't know if we're ever going to do any more content for it. Which probably means that the game that f launched this channel and the game that kept it going for the longest time is is dead. Um, and we probably won't be putting anything else out for it. But if that changes, obviously, you'll see. and We'll get some more content up. But... Um, <sighs> yeah, weird moment. All right, that's going to do us. Thank you for joining us, guys. Um, do drop us a like and leave us a comment down below. Um, let us know what your thoughts on eFootball are. Um, you know, be civil, don't be a dick. Um, and we'll see you next time. All right, take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>